So let's talk about this interface right here. This keyboard interface It's pretty much on every display device, TV, fire sticks, fire TV, any box that actually have a media interface to the TV. This is what you have to deal with. I think it sucks. And I think there's got to be a better way to solve this problem. Sitting here trying to spell something, I got to go C and then I got to go H and then I got to go all the way over A and then I got to go all the way over r and then i gotta go all the way over here d it shouldn't be that hard i mean it takes forever to have an input that way what's the solution well here's my solution hey everyone how y'all doing today so my solution i have two solutions right here in my hands for that on-screen keyboard if if it's a thing for you that you don't like and it's too much work because it seems like a lot of work to move from one letter to the next and they're not close together you know it has that QWERTY keyboard style on screen but you don't have a QWERTY keyboard you have a remote now i have to give visio credit because they created a remote that had a keyboard on the back of it so that was a clever idea nobody else have come up with a solution to solve that problem yet besides them so for us other folks that don't have a visio tv we have to move over to A, move over to D, you know, that kind of work. And you know that interface is on everything. It's on your TV, it's on your Netflix, your Hulu, your Amazon video, whatever, it's all there. And that interface in these days should be eradicated. That's my opinion. What the manufacturer should do is actually include a keyboard because they know that you gotta do on-screen input. That's why they actually built a keyboard on screen so why not put a mechanical keyboard in there i mean i would pay an extra 25 dollars for a tv if i know it's got one of these suckers in there and i think other people would do the same thing as me just to say that you know what even if it's a cheap bluetooth keyboard it's included along with the remote so now i can do all my inputs because the tv is supposed to be a smart tv it's got netflix and everything built into there so why not include a keyboard in the box I think many consumers will pay for that. So think about that manufacturers in the future of this input thing until we get to a voice activator where everything is voice input and we don't have to worry about on-screen keyboard. Let's in the meantime, just go ahead and toss a keyboard in there. So until that happens, I have two solutions for you and they're both made by Logitech and they're Bluetooth enabled. So if your device has Bluetooth capability, here you go, you're good to go. I know my TVs are, I know my PlayStation is, I know the Xbox is, all that stuff has Bluetooth built into it. It's a standard interface with anything these days. So this one over here, this blue one that I see in my hand, and I'll put the model number and description, all of that down there, is capable of controlling three devices. So you see those light blue buttons on this keyboard? It makes it capable of switching from different devices. So you can have the PlayStation, your TV, and say your Amazon Fire TV stick or box, all going through this keyboard. And to control any one of those devices, you just have to press the assign button. So if you have the TV assigned to button one, that's the one you press, and you can do anything on the TV and so forth with the rest. So that's the capability of this one. Now this one over here doesn't have that capability. It controls one device only, but it has an advantage. It has a touchpad that you can control on-screen cursor if you need to have an on-screen cursor on the screen where you need to move around. That's the advantage of this one. So it has the touchpad with the buttons so you can move the cursor around if you have something on the screen that needs that capability. So another advantage this has over the blue one is it has the glow-in-the-dark feature. So you know you're watching TV at night, the light is dimmed or you might be watching it in the dark and you can't see the keys on this guy right here because it's not going to light up but this right here will light up in the dark and it's self-adjusting so depend on the amount of light in the room it gets dim or bright and another thing about this one is it's rechargeable so you don't have to keep buying batteries this guy over here use batteries you win some lose some on these two devices you're going to have the glow in the dark rechargeable built-in battery uh touchpad it even have the sound control, 
But this guy over here, like I said, control multiple device. And it doesn't have the touchpad. But if you don't require that touchpad capability, you just want to input and you can use your remote for the cursor movement, then this guy is going to be the solution for you. If you need something with a touchpad, here's your solution. But they're both capable of getting rid of that on-screen keyboard, that pesky thing that I don't know why manufacturers still programming that things into devices. It should be banned, <laughs> you know, if you ask me. They should just include a keyboard in there or put a keyboard built into the remote just like Vizio did. It's possible. They did it. I know other people can do it too, but put a mini keyboard in there. So this is a cry out to the manufacturers. Let's get rid of those on-screen keyboard and put some mini keyboards inside the box or let's go full voice input where we don't have to actually type anything on the screen by using the remote. It's ridiculous. So I'm gonna leave all of that down there in the description so you can check them out. I'm not gonna quote any prices because you know the prices on these things change. It might be on sale. It might be a clearance thing. Who knows? Okay, so that's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you have comments or questions, you know what to do. Share it, and I'll see you next time.